here. I'm headed up to Piddick Mansion, which the guy just recommended I go up. Makes sense why he said it. I've easily gone up a few hundred feet in elevation already, just driving up this road about a mile. Piddick Mansion was curious whoever Piddick might be. Henry Piddick, this sign says, climbed Mount Hood four times. Mount Hood is about 14,000 feet in elevation. It's a massive mountain out here. I believe it's actually in Washington, but you could see it pretty much from surrounding areas, Portland included. Henry Piddick must have been a pioneer because he has a giant mansion on top of another mountain that we're about to go check out right now. The Piddick shared the mansion with nine family members. These signs coming up are just facts. Piddick Mansion. All right guys, so we're up here at Piddick Mansion now. As you can tell, it is a pretty steep drop off down this hill. Pretty wild view looking down. We got the mansion right over here. Just paying for my parking spot right now. The family that founded Portland must be the Piddick family. And apparently the mansion just closed. So we'll check out the outside. Still a beautiful view out here. Well, wow, look at the view from up here though. I'm sure when they built this house in the early 1900s, these trees weren't tall enough. You can still see in the very distance in between a few of the trees though, you can see the skyline of the city. I'm sure you can see the whole skyline of the city back before these trees grew tall though. It's an absolutely beautiful property though. This mansion's been well maintained. I mean, look at the, look at the molding out here on the outside, flowers and fruits, really beautiful architecture. And then just a beautiful yard. Look at this backyard. I'm gonna walk all the way out there. Don't know what kind of stones these are, but the stone flooring out here too. It's a beautiful spot. What a crazy view. The place is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is a place I would say, I know I recommend a lot of places to go, but if you're in Portland, you gotta check out Piddick Mansion. I mean, I didn't get to go inside, but I think one day when I come back to check that Japanese garden out down in Washington Park, it'll be a good opportunity to go check out the inside of the mansion too. So this Piddick family, it seems like they're the roots of a lot of the major culture that's out here in Portland. The reason for all the roses, the rose garden down there, down at the bottom of the hill, not even at the bottom of the hill, just a little bit further down the hill, they probably started that rose garden. And we're back up to the main entrance. All right, guys, it's a few days later from the last time I filmed, but I'm going to be heading back to Piddick Mansion in the Japanese Garden right over by Washington Park that we checked out, you know, a few days ago. Piddick Mansion, the inside was closed when I got there, so we're going to check out the inside of that, and then the Japanese Garden was closed also. So we're going to try and get over there and check the two of those things out uh, before they close at 4. It's about 2.15 right now, so we're going to try and make it happen. Let's get after it.
of history at this mansion ton of facts all over the mansion as i was going through it i'm gonna include all those in the video yeah super chill spot still in amazing shape too just kind of cool to take a take a look back into history and see what it was like early 1900s mid 1900s this is a beautiful beautiful home but i'm gonna head out of here now head down to the japanese garden probably like two mile drive down the road and we'll go check that out before it closes here in a little bit i'm right outside washington park right outside of the japanese garden but just look at some of these houses out here they're just ridiculous and these houses are just right on the hill overlooking the whole city too washington park area it's just a dope area 
Just absolutely beautiful fall vibes. Nice crisp, like 55 degrees. It rained earlier today. Now there's blue skies out. It's a beautiful day. Pacific Northwest is really a beautiful place, man. Is this like a little garden? Damn. Look at that bench. Look at the moss growth on this trail. That's sick, but this Japanese garden's about to be even sicker. So the camera died while I was in the middle of the Japanese garden, but that place is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Super peaceful. Put some jazz music on in the headphones and just walked around for like an hour and a half. But definitely a place that if you're in Portland, you really got to check out. That place was too chill, too peaceful. So many different bonsai trees. Just so many trees in general, so much moss growth. Real beautiful spot, right up here in Washington Park, right above the city. Pretty damn hungry right now. Gonna try and get some pizza. I'm craving pizza for some reason. So I'm gonna see if there's any good pizza in Portland. I'm gonna look up the best pizza spots and we'll see what we can find. Ordered actually two pizzas from this place called Oven and Shaker. Apparently it's a really good pizza spot. It's a wood fire pizza spot and a cocktail bar. Just ordered two pizzas for pickup. One is a margarita. Margarita is usually my go-to. A good classic pie, something easy to kind of base how good the pizza's on. And then they had something called the maple pig. This thing just sounded nuts. This thing has pork belly, apple, smoked ham, ricotta cheese, and then maple syrup, I'm pretty sure on it. So it sounds nuts. I'm gonna try them both. I'm gonna bring them back to the crib and we'll see what's good. Guys, that was ready quick. That's how you know it's wood-fired pizza. Oven and shaker. Like I said, check them out real quick. That's the margarita. Looks A1. And then the maple pig. Oh, that looks dummy. 
back to the crib, fuck these boys up. Not gonna lie guys, I had to get into the margarita while it was hot, margarita was hitting. Margarita was hitting at like a 8.7. Neapolitan style, wood fired, not too crunchy, but that's not what you expect with that kind of pizza. But at 8.7, that shit was hitting. Just got back to the crib, time to try this, this maple pig. That's fucking incredible. 9.2 out of 10. Really phenomenal pie. Hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and hit the subscribe button just for this pie. Maple Pig, Oven and Shaker, Portland, Oregon, Northwest Everett Street. Hitting. In Portland, where you got the Nike factory, of course, we got the Nike sponsored court. To end out the video, try and splash a little half quarter for you guys. Try and get a good angle of it first. If I could get this first take, that would be awesome. First take right now. how it's done baby and after hitting that half court shot back to me in the woods at washington park to close out the video hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoy videos like this if you do drop a like down below drop a comment down below let me know some things you guys would like to see in some future videos always open to suggestions so drop them in the comments down below lastly if you haven't already hit the subscribe button smash the subscribe button show it no mercy but as always guys much love and i'll see you on sunday